Hi everyone, Mari here, and I'm going to show you a simple way of hiding the shadows around a content box in a Rapid Weaver theme. This process does require a little digging into CSS code, so if you've never done this before and just the term CSS kind of wigs you out, don't worry. What I'm about to show you is pretty simple and it's pretty straightforward. Uh, to demonstrate this technique, I'll be using one of my sites, Mischief Mari Cookies, which is a site that I designed for a crazy hobby of mine um, and a book that I wrote. Um, I bake and decorate cookies in my free time, so for that and to promote the book, I um, designed a site in Rapid Weaver, and the blog is a WordPress blog. All right, so as you can see on this home page, there is a shadow that surrounds the content area box and um, this is what we're going to be um, this is what I'm going to show you how to hide today using the Firefox Firebug extension so if you don't have the Firebug extension already go to um, getfirebug.com and click on install Firebug it's 100% free and open uh, open source and once you click on that, it installs it immediately onto your Firefox browser. So to do this exercise, you're going to need to be in the Firefox browser using the Firebug extension. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is click on this little Firebug up here in the upper right hand corner. And the lower part of your screen will open up um, a bunch of HTML and CSS code windows. So when you run your cursor over the HTML, HTML section, you'll notice that it highlights and shades different parts of the page. And we're looking for this actually, the division ID container. Okay. So anyway, um, the way to get started really actually is to click on this tool here, the arrow with the box on it. So I have to click on that again. And what it does is as you run your cursor over the page, it highlights different design elements, different um, pieces of content really. And as you run your cursor over that, you'll notice that the code below in that um, HTML and CSS, those windows changes. Okay, so we're looking for that container that main container I found it and so what you'll do to keep that code steady in those lower windows is to click on it okay and now the highlight here becomes a solid blue and none of the code here moves around all right so I know that I'm on the right um, element design element because over here in the style section it says container it has the width 930 pixels and then it has another entry for container and it shows the background color and just move your cursor over that and it'll show you the color preview it border radius box shadow margin position okay this is the code specifically this one box shadow is the one that we want to change so now we're going to do what's called a live edit in firebug so just click on that code right there and I'm going to go ahead and delete it so right before I hit delete watch the shadow around the content box because it's going to disappear right before your very eyes. See, it's gone. Okay, so now we know that that's the right way, that's the first step I should say, in removing or in hiding that box shadow. But you can't leave that code the way it is. You have to put a proper value in it for the code to work. So we're going to type in none and then semicolon. Okay, and the next step is to move your cursor down here at this bracket, highlight all of that code, and copy it. Okay, so now we're going to go back to Rapid Weaver, and you see this is my site in Rapid Weaver. It's um, in preview mode, and the next thing we'll do is click on the page inspector in the upper right hand corner. Make sure you're in the header section and that you've opened the CSS or the custom CSS window. And as you can see already, I've got a fair amount of um, custom code in there. So the next step is we're in this custom CSS box here and we're going to take that code that we just edited and copied in Firebug and paste it into this box. 
So as I paste it, you'll see in a few seconds that shadow disappears. And there, it's gone. So I'll just hit Command S to save my changes. And we're done. Let's preview this in another browser. We, we know that it works in Firefox, so let's uh, preview it in Opera, or as some people call it, Opera. And it looks good. That shadow is gone. And the rest of the page looks pretty good. And that's pretty much how you get rid of those small design elements, you know, if you want to, using CSS code. So basically, you just go to, you open up your page in Firefox, you click on the fire bug, you run your cursor over um, the page until you find the element that you're looking for, click on it to hold that code steady, and then you can do a live edit in Firebug, and if it works, copy and paste that code into the custom CSS section of your Rapid Weaver theme. And that's pretty much it. Okay, so uh, for more information on Firefox's Firebug, the CSS code used in this tutorial, and other information on how to learn and use CSS, um, please go to my site. Um, I've put up a post about this tutorial on my blog as well as some resources that you might want to look into to learn the basics of CSS and HTML and um, other juicy information. So <laughs> I hope this has been helpful to you. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon.